It's profile time. Three. Can you believe it? I, yes. It's the same every time. <laughs> it's the same every week. I can believe it. I'm, I'm looking at the it. recording time. Yeah, it's about time. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, way. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Isn't it? Um, the profile will be on Manuel Francisco dos Santos. Who's that, Marco? <laughs> well, <laughs> James, I'm glad you are. Who the shitting hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> Don't cheapen it. We all know this man by the name of Grincha. Oh, of course. Little bird. Mm. Gordon Bennett. Angel with bent legs. Yeah, that's it. Oh, many call this man the greatest player in the history of Brazilian football. I've said it. Yeah. <laughs> well, they've yeah. said it. That's yeah. good. I've reported it. Motion <laughs> 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 and messenger. <laughs> Put your guns down. It's true, though. A lot of people do say that, mm. especially in Brazil, James. Mm. Go and they, they should know. He's yeah. seen as much more of a man of the people than uh, than Pele. Mm. One could argue, which you'll probably come on to. One may argue <laughs> in a brief moment. Um, yeah, he, he, Garincha means wren, mm. which is of course the little bird, like you said, and the angel uh, with bent legs. He had loads of nicknames, didn't he? He did have a. Uh, I mean, on to, I mean, most Brazilian players like their name is a nickname, isn't it? But he had loads on top of well, that yeah. itself. No, you're 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 absolutely right. Um, it's remarkable, really, that he could play football well, let alone at all. Being at the point of being one of the best, well, certainly the one of the best dribblers in the history of the game, mm. um, because his his right leg pointed inwards, his left leg curved outwards, and one leg was six centimeters shorter <laughs> than the other. <laughs> It is incredible. And, and back then, it was a real sort of... Uh, problem, yeah. It was, it was a real problem, and you'd genuinely be ostracised yeah. by the community with things like that. Yeah. Even in even in England, it, it would, it would That's be right. exactly the same case. Well, there's one video I've seen, um, I don't know if you guys have seen it, where he, he, he focuses on his legs, and he's just standing on the pitch, and it's like, flipping heck. Like, mm. it really is noticeable. <laughs> when, he, when he runs, you don't notice as much, but yeah. when no, he stands no, no. still, it's... Yeah. It, That's it, right. It, it, there's, a, there's a definite... Mm. Well, camber there, There's a camber. camber There is a camber Well Mel Hopkins Who played left back for Wales In the F World Cup 58 quarter final um, He said When you stood And he faced you His legs went one way And then his body went the other yeah. And he said There's no doubt about it He would have been Declared a cripple But my god he could play Yeah, yeah. And, and, and flipping I mean he was He was dealt a bad hand He was born into poverty uh, His father was an alcoholic Who died as a result of this and when he was a youngster, to get home from, from where he used to go uh, to play football, uh, he would have to get like a two and a half hour train journey and walk God. three miles, often in darkness, back to his house. You know? yeah, that's crazy, isn't it? Absolutely remarkable, really. Um, and I, I love this. The guy who wrote his uh, biography, Rui Castro, described him as the most amateur footballer professional football ever produced. Mm. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Not um, the nicest quote in the world. <laughs> no, no, but it's, it, it was so unorthodox. In the same way that people describe Messi as the ultimate street player. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. think that's kind of what he's suggesting <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah. Because it, it wasn't it the case that Garincha didn't actually wasn't actually that bothered by football when he was when he was young. Yeah, that's right. It, which it seems nuts. It, it, <laughs> yeah. it seems like this great escape for him. She's like me though. Very in a casual way. towards. Well, him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. No, I th well, he was bothered in the sense of playing. Hence yeah. the long journey. But with but, I mean, in terms of making a career out of it, exactly. Right, yeah. yeah, which which uh, obviously influenced his playing style. You know. <clears throat> Because um, he just loved to dribble. He didn't really care about passing exactly. or scoring. He just loved to dribble, yeah. didn't he? he liked to take the piss. Yeah, well, he did. Very much he so. loved a fake from oh, the videos yeah. that I've seen. Flipping not, egg. Forgive me if you're going to come on to this in a minute, but there's footage of him just beating about four players. Yeah. And all he likes to do is dribble. So he runs round the keeper, just runs into the net with the ball, flicks the ball up, puts it under his arm, and just runs back and puts <laughs> yeah. it on the centre spot. And says, right, let's carry on. Yeah, yeah, that's it. It. He doesn't care it's about like scoring. scoring a try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. He always just sort of shouts to the bloke with the scoreboard. Don't, don't, don't worry. worry. Yeah, didn't, yeah. I, didn't I read once that he not like he he basically tied a player in knots. Not literally. Mm. That would be <laughs> horrific. He yeah. literally tied him in knots. Yeah. <laughs> and he just stood literally. there like hell lads do if you're shouting at him. No. Yeah. He, did, he, he basically, the defender didn't know what the hell to do, just fell over. Grinchy took the ball past him, came back, helped him up again, then ran off and done the way. <laughs> yeah, that's the kind of thing he would do. Yeah. And he was told at a uh, very young age by the doctor that he couldn't play football because of his, um, the state of Have you seen me? I yeah. can. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I've, I've just have been. But, uh, pretty, pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, a, a number of um, teams rejected him. Due to his odd physique, but Botafogo signed him up in, in 1953. Sounds like they didn't even bother to watch him play. Yeah, um, and he spent his majority, uh, the majority of his career there. He's got a hat trick on his debut. Yeah, he, nice. play, he played loads, absolutely. Jermaine loads Pennin -esque. Of yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Yeah. He, he made um, the right wing really his own position for, for Botafogo and the Brazilian national side. Mm. Absolutely. You loved. only want one player there. No, exactly. Yeah, not in those days. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not yeah. in the days of two, three. 
12. Seven. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, uh, oh, somebody's people. been reading up. Yeah. Two, two, three, twelve. Yeah. <laughs> he was absolutely loved by the people, and many would turn up to just to watch him, and, and he got more nicknames, as you said, mm. uh, Joe. The Chaplain of Football and the Joy of the People, possibly my favourite one. The Joy of the People. I mean, if you've got That's that as a nickname, you're yeah. happy with that. Yeah. I think it's only a matter of time before I get the Joy of the Ramble. <laughs> the Joy of the People would be very The Joystick difficult. of the Ramble. <laughs> <laughs> um, he made his debut for Brazil in 1955 at the age of 18 and was a big part of the 58 winning side uh, in Sweden World Cup uh, with Pele of course mm. um, and, and, and this was a huge win for Brazil they weren't the dominant force that we've come to know them no they weren't it was obviously they'd, they'd been beaten by Uruguay the, the final hurdle in the 1950 World Cup and the, the scars really did run deep they were hurt, mm. they were hurting yeah. Um, they went to those finals with a psychologist mm. because of it. You know, absolutely <laughs> incredible. So yeah, yeah, him and Pele and, and others were all about getting the Brazil back on the map. Footballing. Um, Brazil never lost when Pele and Garrincha played together either. Correct, yeah, yeah. And that's a lot of games as well. It's not yeah. just like a couple. It's yeah, like fifty yeah. odd, I think. Uh, yeah, forty nine. Because oh. I think he only lost one in his career. Oh, did he? Okay, uh, yeah. for Brazil. Well, I don't know if they played together forty nine times, but it, it was a good number. Yeah. It was an incredible record. Um, and as you say, in nineteen sixty two, some of that footage of him taking the piss is just yeah. wonderful. Yeah. He just slows the game down to whatever yeah. he wants. Mm. It's almost like it's, uh, a BBC journalist once described him as having a reckless. Disregard for the end product. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he, he just sort of dribbled. Oh, go on then. Tell yeah, you but the, th- the thing he would slow it down to, to literally to a walking pace. Yeah, mm. there'd be times Richard. where he'd be wa- Richard. He'd be <laughs> he'd be walking around with the ball. The defender sort of frightened to make a move because he knew he'd just get done. <laughs> yeah. The defenders probably thought, oh, a breather. Like, yeah. oh, here he yeah. goes again. In his head, the defenders thinking, if I stay here. We won't get the ball, but at the same time, I won't be embarrassed. <laughs> so I'm staying. Yeah, he was getting off free kicks, wasn't he? He was, he was yeah. notable. Didn't he invent the ba- banana shot, so to speak? A lot of people. Yeah, he was one of the first ones um, who liked to whip it. Um, in the '62 World Cup, G- Pele got injured early on, so everybody was looking at Garincha to to take the team to glory, and he didn't disappoint. Mm. Uh, joint top scorer and player of the tournament mm. you know, in there. Uh, World Cup win there uh, Throughout the 50s and 60s Many of Europe's big clubs Tried to sign him um, But uh, After the 66 World Cup Where Brazil Were just a shadow Of the of Previous teams um, It all You're only ever going to be One winner that tournament Yeah Thank you James um, West End <laughs> uh, Unfortunately his partying And drinking Really caught up with him With, with <laughs> a vengeance mm. um, Quite sadly And There was a lot of scandal uh, Surrounding him He was in the papers For all the wrong reasons uh, He was an alcoholic And a womaniser And people say You know He made George Best's life Look tame You know mm. I mean it really was A sad story The way yeah. it all ended He spiralled out of control And uh, he was suffering um, from cirrhosis when he died uh, in the hospital uh, only at the age of 49 emulating his father I guess. Yeah, yeah that's right yeah and I mean, even on his deathbed he was said to be still a big drinker you know I thought you were going to say a bit of a player <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he still taking the piss <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he was um, I mean he played nearly 600 games for Botafogo and scored over 230 goals for them yeah. which is a great record for a winger for a wide player yeah absolutely well, he's more of a fo- but the thing is back in the, get- then the formations was he's probably more of a forward yeah mm. sure uh, I'm not taking anything away from him but he, he was he was more than just an out and out winger wasn't he yeah um, but uh, he really did help to um Start the thinking process of what people think of Brazil now. Do you know what I mean by that? With regards to football, uh, the flair, the the joy, the 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 samba, the samba. You know, all that kind of stuff. He was one of the first guys who really um, had such a a playing style where people turned up and it was just a a, a Mm. joy to see it. And why? That's why he was so popular as well, isn't it? Exactly, the joy of the people. There you go. They say because they say I've read I've read a bit of that Rui Castro book and I've read the Alex Belos Brazil book as well. Mm. And they said that Pele seemed to be someone who always. Sort of had a plan. He was always marketed to death. He knew what he was going to do after he left football, yeah. and, mm. and he was he wasn't. But Garincha was was someone that the Brazilian people could really see themselves emulate. And they get, oh, if he can do it, we can all do it. That's and right. He, and he was on a level with them. And I think he was also throughout his his life very approachable and 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 seemed to be. From what I can make out, he would be drinking in the same bars that he always was, and very much keeping his friends yeah. the same as he always had done. You mm. know. No, totally. Uh, there was a, uh, apparently back in the day um, when he would dribble around opponents time and time again, um, 
it's been said uh, how true this is. It's believable that the fans would shout "Ole" every time he did it, and apparently that's where it started. Great stuff. Mm. Um, Great I'd stuff. like to believe that. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. It's got to come from somewhere. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and also in the the Maracanã, the famous uh, stadium in Rio, uh, apparently the the away changing room is known as Pele, whereas the home dressing room. Is known as Garincha. Nice. <laughs> not, not bad at all. Uh, and Eduardo uh, Galliano. My the, bathroom's called Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Your toilet's called James. Oh, no need. No need. <laughs> um, Eduardo Galliano, the, the South American writer, said that uh, when he was on form, the pitch became a circus, the ball became an obedient animal, and the game became an invitation to party. Oh, <laughs> great quote. Yeah. That's the best one we've had. <laughs> <laughs> 